Hello. Today we're going to be taking on Blue Star, but first, let's go over the decks. I have Concentrated Fire Spam Mio, so 3 Greasy Grass, 2 Leap, 3 Concentrated Fire, and Savage Mode. For passives, I have Wedge, Battle Ready, and Mind Hauler. I have a Pierce Focused Ethicer Singleton with Greasy Grass, Extract Feel, Multi Slash, Fleet Edge, Gale Kick, Somber Procuration, Will of the Prescript, Emotional Turbulence, and Castigation. Passives are Fervor, Mind Hauler, Wedge. Have a blunt focused Lowell with Pellet Blockade, Grazed Grass, Multi Slash, Creek, Steel Knuckles, Automated Movement, Repressed Flush with the Prescript and Emotional Turbulence. Passes are High Level Acrobatics, Lens Fist, and Mind Hauler. And finally, trying out a uh, Rapid Gashes Clone Nikolai with Sword Plug of the Homeland and Mind Hauler. Alright, let's get into it. So, Shrine to the Blue Star has a lot of passives. Really, the only one you need, the only ones you need to worry about is Into the Stars Embrace. If a character is staggered, kill them and lose 10% of max HP. So when you kill 10 worshippers, you'll win. And then Sound of a Star, which will make the Shrine to the Blue Star use a mass attack every three scenes, starting with the third scene, so three, six, nine, etc. You know. Um, next we have these worshippers. They'll be immune to all damage and ineffective to all stagger damage except for one damage type which will be fatal, so in this case pierce, pierce, slash, and blunt. Because of this that's why I decided to focus on single damage types for my characters. And now we can go over the pages briefly. So for the star, 37 blunt, 36 blunt, 36 block. Very standard, any 3 die page, any 2 die page really as well. You could also mitigate it with like a public blockade or extract feel, graze the grass, etc. Very bog standard. Let's see. Bunch of. Ah, uh, here we go. Our faith is never wrong. 3 to 6 blunt, and then 7 to 9 blunt that on hit inflicts 3 paralysis. 7 to 9 on 2 is a little harder to deal with, but with all our power boosters, we shouldn't have too much of an issue with our clashing pages. And then we have We're All Sinners, 7 to 9 Blunt, 3 to 6 Block, and then a 3 to 6 Block counter that recovers 5 Stag Resist on Clash Win. Uh, well, just a block on one will deal with this fine, or Power Boosted Dice will also work. So, what I'm going to do is looking at all of the uh, Stag Resistances and match our corresponding Librarian and their dice to it to try and kill them as fast as possible. This fight's also pretty long, uh, and so you should probably have Mind Hollow on all of your Librarians. But other than that, it's just a lot of repetition, so let's see what happens. some more pages here but nothing so it's just gonna be more of the same I'm gonna try and kill this one and this one maybe be able to get this one Nikolai took quite a bit of a beating but now we have rapid gash in hand so we can start cloning it and here just you know more of the same note the process here and we have savage mode online so just keep in mind your clashes and should be good. Alright. For abnormality pages, I don't really like um the boring heaven ones unless I'm going blockma. I guess it's somewhat viable in this case since you can take the uh, double deflect and stack that but I'm just gonna take 13th toll and because eh, then put it on Lowell he has most pages all right so as the music dims we can see the mass attack sound of a star 
mass summation on use all hours recover 10 stagger resist. And there's a 20 to 20, and then it changes the stagger's resistance, st or the target's stagger resistance is the fatal for the next scene. Uh, 20 to 20 is not hard to beat, so hopefully we'll be able to get there. And, aha. We'll meet soon as stars is a 12 to 12 on hit that when the character dies, or sorry, on hit this character dies and changes the stagger resistance of the target to fatal. So similar to um, the mass attack. And I believe this one's only for low stagger resistance, yes. And then here to the sound of the star, six to eight pierce, five to eight pierce, and both of them deal three stagger damage on hit. This one is a little threatening, but again, just use power boosters and you should be good to go. And it looks like they're all casting that because they're all pretty low. So we can just manage that and that'll be it. I really don't like time. It's just super annoying for me. So I'll just take one of these other ones. They don't particularly matter though. Just toss it anyway. All right. You can see only one of them actually died to the um, stagger resisting. The other three died to full me to get a stars. So that's a little annoying, but it's just more of the same. We've already seen all their pages, so we can just fast forward through this entire fight. Alright, so not too difficult as long as you can manage your damage types and don't get beaten by the mass attack too many times, so yeah, that's the fight. After defeating Blue Star, you'll get access to these abnormality pages. Martyr is a pretty interesting one. It adds a page, Martyr, to the selected librarians' hands that, on play, makes them deal between 4 and 6 bonus dagger damage on hit, but take between 1 and 3 damage when they land a successful attack. The page is also added to hand at the start of subsequent acts. If you have some form of HP regeneration like Health Holler, then this can provide a lot of upside without much consequence, especially if you've been staying at around full health. Penance is a fairly situational page. At the start of each scene, if any character is staggered, they'll take between 3 and 7 damage, and all allies will get 1 strength. 
If you can consistently trigger it, the team-wide offensive power boost is amazing, but if you're doing that, then you're probably already winning. I'd take this page if there was a staggered character or an enemy was about to stagger. The last page is a nostalgic sound. This page makes all allies deal between 2 and 4 extra stagger damage every 3 scenes, starting with the scene you chose to page. Extra stagger damage is nice, but the inconsistent nature of it makes it not ideal. In the next video, we'll be finishing the far left branch of Star of the City. I'll see you soon, and as always, thank you for watching.